Boy Reef here. Um, I have my giant clam in here. He's about 15 years old. He's pretty big, but I noticed he had these little white pyramid snails that are on him. I've never had these before on any of my other clams. For some reason, it got into my system. I'm not sure why. So I'm going to show you in this video how I'm going to scrape all the pyramid snails off. And you've got to brush the shell as well. I'm going to use a toothbrush because the pyramid snails lay the eggs and they're clear. And you can't see them. So I want to make sure I get them all. Probably do this seizure two, three times a week until they're all gone because I don't want my other clams to get them as well. Um, but they're a pest. They get in your system very hard. They, uh, they attach to the clam's tissue. They feed on they feed on the tissue of the clam. Eventually, if they get inside the clam, they could kill my clam. And I've had them for a long time, and I don't want them to die. So I'm going to try to clean them up the best I can tonight. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. All right, thanks. Hey guys, so here's my, my giant clam. He's pretty big, like you can tell by my hand, he's huge. Um, I found him for a while. He's about 15 some years old, I'm his third owner. Um, so, so right now we're gonna try to do these pyramid snails. I'm gonna show you where they try to get it like around the mantle, around his foot to feed, and hopefully they don't get inside. So here we go, hopefully it doesn't spray me. I'm just gonna flip him over on his side We'll start right at the bottom. If you look right, see right here? Those are all pyramid snails all along the bottom. And those are not good. Those are try to get inside them. So I'm just going to grab a, a little knife here and be very careful. And I'm going to try to, you can see them all coming off, these little pyramid snails. It's the first time ever having these. We don't want to make sure they don't get inside either. Okay. Just want to keep knocking them off as we go here. Try to just keep your clamp submerged. We got lots of lots of pyramid snails right here. You can see them. Try to knock them all off. Yeah, try to look after these guys. They have a hard enough time as it is in your reef tanks. Sometimes you gotta do a little maintenance on them, but I can't believe how they have these. It's always coral dip everything. And I've had this guy for a while and he's never had them, so it must have it must have came in on something else. So after I'm done this, I'm gonna have to scrub them with the toothbrush. Just give them a little bit of a shake here. It's a little bit time consuming. You see them right in here, all of them? Just remember every time you put your clam back into, into your tank, make sure you burp them. You don't get the air out of them. These little guys are in every little nook and cranny. And after, I'll drain the water and I'll show you how many of these puppies, little guys, come off your, your clam. I'll have to make sure I do all my other clams as well, just to make sure 
to have it transferred onto them. At the same time, you can clean up your shell. Any other anything else growing on them? Thing is with the eggs, they're so invisible, they're so hard to see, so it's hard to tell where they are. That's why you're gonna have to scrub them. There's so many little nook and crannies on these shells. Put them to hide. Get right where his foot usually is. You still see some hide in here. I got myself a six line wrasse. They're supposed to help control them. Any little pests in your in your leaf tank. These guys are really driving you crazy. Shake them a little bit. That looks a lot better. Just move around this way a bit. From this angle, make sure that nobody else is hiding. It's very hard to see sometimes. Right there is one. Like brushing his teeth, cleaning them up. Let's look on the side. They got a couple purple mushrooms growing on them. So now, if you look here, flip them back up. See if he shoots any water out here. Give him a break. So now, if you look in these little the ribs here, right in there. See them? We're dishing them out. Hide right up in there. That's why you're using a small little knife and just trying to dig them all out. Make sure you get them all. Because any, if you leave any, they can leave eggs. Very hard to see. Hide so well down in there, it's crazy.
much more in here. 